So um, what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is now what they like us to do is go back and determine, find the measure of each exterior angle. All right. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, when we're talking about exterior angles. All right. When we are talking about exterior angles, remember to determine an exterior angle, what we need to do is we need to extend our sides of our polygon. All right. By extending, do you guys have that room? By extending these down, what we can then determine is what our exterior angles are going to be. All right. Now, there's a couple things I want you guys to understand about the exterior angles. As you guys remember, when we kept on getting bigger or polygons with more and more and more and more figures, we determined that the number of sides, or I'm, I'm sorry, the sum of all of your exterior angles always equal the same number. Does anybody remember, Dominic, do you remember that number that all the exterior angles added up to? Yes, very good. Thank you, Dominic, for answering. So yes, it's going to be the exterior angles for any polygon, ladies and gentlemen. The difference, Megan, is when we have interior angles, that always depends on the number of sides. All right, But for exterior angles, it's always going to be equal to 360. Always going to be equal to 360. So if they're asking us, um, what about an octagon? Okay, so now I have an octagon. They said, what is the measure of one exterior angle? Now it's important that they said it's a regular octagon. Since it's a regular octagon, we know that each one of these individual angles, all right, are, are one, each one of these individual sides are equal in measure. Okay. So therefore, since the sides are equal in measure, we know the angles are equal in measure. And if the angles are equal in measure, that means the exterior angles are equal in measure, right? Because if this this angle, then we know the exterior angle, remember, is supplementary with the interior angle. I'll say that one more time. The exterior angle is supplementary with the interior angle. Carly? So when you guys are going through this, and you guys are going to go ahead and figure, determine this one out. What we need to do is we need to figure out then what is that angle. So for an octagon, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, I need to figure out what the individual angle is. So what I'll do is I'll say i equals n minus 2 times 180 degrees divided by n. Since it's an octagon, I have 8 minus 2 times 180 degrees divided by 8. 8 minus 2 is 6. 6 times 180. You dropped something, Sierra. Huh. Dominic, why would she be dropping something like that? Huh. Interesting. Interesting. 6 times 180 divided by 8 is going to be 135. So by applying this formula, 8 minus 2 times 6, and then dividing by 8, 6 times 180, and then dividing by 8, I get 135 degrees. So that measure is 135 degrees, but that's not the question. That is the measure of all of my interior angles. I'm not trying to find the measure of the interior angles. I'm trying to find the measure of the exterior angles. But as I previously mentioned, the interior angle and the exterior angle are what we call supplementary. All right. So therefore, I need to now take, to find the exterior angle, I need to take 180 minus 135. So my exterior angle is equal to 45 degrees. Okay. 